Hello there friends, thank you so much for stopping by. I couldn't be more excited about this video specifically because we are going to speak about the book that has made more millionaires than any other book in history. This is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. But here's the irony though. Why is it that on one hand, this book has created more millionaires than any other book and then on the other hand, so many people who read it fail? Maybe you yourself have read this book some years ago. Maybe right now you're listening to the audio book and you read it, you try to apply the principles, but you don't really get the results. Why is that? Is it because the book is not working? Or maybe is it because you get so caught up in the actual narrative that you don't apply the specific steps? So many people tell me, Peter, you have to create this video on Think and Grow Rich. I want to know more about sexual transmutation and how to do it. I want to know more about how to get burning desire and how to build this burning desire. I want to know more about how to create my specific plans based on Napoleon Hill's work. People have so many questions reading this book, so that is why this video right here, I'm sure we're going to be having astonishing feedback. You have to watch it. It's a must-watch video, and the way I look about uh, this video is that it's a it's actually a complimentary to the book So if you have read the book, maybe right now you're listening to the book You have to watch this video because you're going to pretty much nail down the exact principles in your head You're going to know exactly how to apply them so you can finally achieve your financial goals I personally have made hundreds of thousands of dollars applying this principle so many of our students have uh, had uh, enormous results applying this stuff as well. This is stuff from the book, kind of like a summary, but improved summary with the specific steps and why most people who actually think that they are applying the steps, they really don't apply them uh, from the book. So it's a must watch and it's going to be a lot of fun. In fact, this video is part of a sequence of videos that we're doing on different books so if you like this idea that we're doing speaking about different books why people who read them fail and exactly what to do about it the specific steps so that they can finally get what they want from the book you can subscribe to this channel welcome uh, our community is growing and I'm really happy I'm very grateful for every single one of you thank you so much for being here if you're a subscriber and we're going to keep doing these videos and a lot of other things alrighty so okay let's get started now keep in mind though that if you haven't read the book that is perfectly fine you can still take the maximum advantage of the video and get the most out of it learning the exact steps to apply in your life maybe business or future business now the reason why people fail and you're going to learn a lot of the reasons when we're actually going through the specific steps that way it's even more valuable to you to learn what to do but very quickly just to mention the reason why most people fail who read this book is because they get really caught up in the narrative now I did a similar video about uh, another great book called the science of getting rich and just as the science of getting rich, this book is based on a very compelling narrative. Now, at the very beginning of the book, Napoleon Hill speaks about the secret and how everyone has to find the secret inside the book. The good thing about this is that that way people get really excited about the book. The book sells a lot of copies because the book is itself a mystery. Now, everyone likes to read a mystery, some of the most sold books, some of the best sellers in the world are actual mysteries because people like mysteries. They want to figure out things. And when Napoleon Hill says at the very beginning, listen, this book, you have to find the secret for yourself. I'm not going to tell you what the secret is. People like it. The book sells a lot of copies. People get drawn into the actual narrative and that's good for sales, right? This is Napoleon Hill's most sold out book ever one of the most sold books in history, certainly the, the biggest bestseller in self-development. However, what's the problem though? Now, the problem with this is that people get so caught up in the secret that they forget that success in achieving your financial goal, it's not one secret. Is a sequence of steps and even if you do one of these steps wrong you're not going to achieve your specific financial goal and that's a big issue because people think that they have to find the secret and they find one single secret for example you have to think specifically what you want and you're going to achieve this thing that you think about most of the time kind of like the law of attraction people think that's the secret however in real life you already know there are a lot of steps that we need to apply to achieve our financial goals thankfully napoleon hill gives us all the steps that we need to apply to achieve our financial goals however they get lost inside this whole narrative so uh, let's pretty much start and uh, speak about the specific steps exactly how to apply them in the modern day and age because the principles they're timeless 
They're still working today in 2018, 2019 and beyond. However, the way we apply them is a little different. And a lot of the things, for example, the mastermind principle is something totally different than most people do nowadays. They just don't get it. So we're going to be speaking about all this. Are you excited? Awesome. I couldn't be more excited myself. I think this has the power to change your life completely. Alrighty now. First things first, now, what is the financial goal that you want to achieve? Let's start with this. What is the financial goal that you want to achieve? Now, is it a monthly financial goal? Usually people, when they start their own business, like we teach people about online business, if you're a coach, consultant, if you're first starting with affiliate marketing, whatever the case is, but think about yourself. What is the financial goal that you want to achieve? Is it $10,000 a month or maybe is it $25,000 a month? Maybe you want to become a millionaire and actually hit $100,000 a month because it doesn't matter how you look at it. If you make $100,000 a month, you're pretty much a millionaire, right? No matter how you estimate it, there are different ways to estimate your net worth. Uh, but if you make $100,000 a month, you're set. But what, what is your financial goal? Is it 10K a month or is it... So pretty much most people have a goal from 5,000, 5K, a month to you know 25k a month or hundred thousand a month or maybe your goal is to accumulate or a specific amount of money maybe you say listen I want to accumulate three million dollars so that I have this money in the bank and I can retire comfortably when the time comes when I'm 65 or 70 or whatever the case is so you know right now when you're choosing your financial goal just choose how much money you want to make per month Alrighty, or choose an amount of money that you want to accumulate, then uh, usually what we do, you know, this is common stuff, everyone knows this, and we have to go through this. Now, you want to get to the nitty gritty, and I'm going to be speaking about this, but since this is a full system, I want you to have everything to actually finally achieve your financial goals and know exactly how to do this, right? Uh, usually what we do is, you know, you say exactly by when you want to achieve it, so you set some type of deadline, Alrighty, so you have your goal, you have the deadline, and now here comes the really interesting stuff that people pretty much get wrong. Now, if I ask you, alrighty, so now you have this goal, financial goal, how do you achieve it? Most of the people would say, okay, well, basically I have to do two things. I need to have a plan, and here in this circle, right here, I'm going to write down plan. And the other thing I need to do is I have to take massive action following this plan. I have to take massive action following this plan. Now, so far, so good on theory. However, the real problem comes when I ask you, well, do you take action? Do you take enough action to achieve your actual goals? And most people tell me, Peter, I don't take enough action. I procrastinate. Listen, I want to do videos online or I want to build my online business or maybe, you know, I want to create a website blog. I want to promote this. You know, I, I started this. I'm doing some kind of stuff, but I'm not really taking enough action. I don't know what people would think of me if I start doing videos. I don't feel comfortable doing stuff. You know, I don't have the motivation. I procrastinate. Or maybe you take a lot of action, but Peter, I, I just don't have the results. I don't get it. Maybe I speak personally with people in network marketing. A lot of people are in network marketing companies and you say, listen, I speak with people personally but I don't get why you know no one wants to work with me or maybe I'm a coach consultant no one even wants the free session so I have a plan I take some action but I don't have results or I don't take any action at all that's usually the two problems people either have the wrong plan or people don't take any action at all so how do we solve this and how uh, Napoleon Hill suggests that we solve these two problems and what is the secret pretty much at the very beginning that you have to start doing all right now Here's the thing, the reason why you're not taking action is because you're not obsessed about achieving this goal. You're not obsessed about achieving this financial goal. And, and see, uh, here's the interesting thing, if you listen to a lot of successful people, most of them would tell you, you have to be obsessed, you have to be obsessed, you have to be obsessed. You've heard many people say this, however, the problem is, is almost no one tells you, well, how do you actually become obsessed? Because a lot of people think, listen, I'm just not ambitious. Uh, I just, you know, I don't have the drive to be obsessed about achieving this financial goal. I'm not ruthless going out there and making stuff happen. I'm not like this, Peter. How am I going to make it happen? 
And it has nothing to do with your age. It has nothing to do with your gender. You can be a woman. You can be fearless, right? Uh, it, it, it has nothing to do with this. It all comes down to you yourself building desire. All right, most people don't know how to do this though. But desire, this is the key. And in fact, this is the reason why the first chapter of Think and Grow Rich is desire. You know, after thoughts or things and stuff like that. But desire. Now, this is the secret ingredient. Because if you have burning desire, this is the foundation that you need to achieve your financial goals, in fact, any financial goal. Now, Napoleon Hill says this in the book. However, there's something that I added for clarity to make sure that you understand how important this is and to be able to evaluate your current level of desire. See, we all have desire. We all have desire. Now, everyone wants to make money. If I stop some random person on the street and I would ask the guy or the lady, like, listen, do you want to make a million bucks? Do you want to become a millionaire? Do you want to make even $10,000 a month so you don't have to work your nine to five? They'll say, hell yeah, I want to do this. How do I do this? Now, the problem though is that they think they want to make the amount of money that they say, but what they have is a mere wish. And here I'm going to write down a mere wish. And see, look at this line here, the green line. Do you see this? I hope you see it just fine. Now, this is the desire spectrum. I came up with this. It's the desire spectrum. Now, your job is to look at the desire spectrum. Now, take a piece of paper, draw this line, and I want you to ask yourself now, from you have a financial goal, how obsessed you are to achieve this financial goal? Do you have a mere wish or are you obsessed? All right, so I'm going to put here at the right, obsessed. So you see, the more you go to the right of the spectrum, that means that the more obsessed you are about achieving your financial goal. And you know what is funny though? We've worked with so many people across the globe with our companies and right now really excited to be building global expert space, helping even more people specifically. But see, the most interesting thing is I can speak with you for five minutes if I meet you live or if you come to Vegas to our office for five minutes. And just by the level of obsession that you have, I can tell you predictably if you have a chance of achieving your financial goal, how long is it going to take you to achieve your financial goal and all this stuff. I, I can know exactly just by looking at your level of obsession. If you just have a mere wish or if you kind of want it, you know, you kind of think about it, that's great. Uh, but if you are obsessed, I know that you're going to achieve it and I know that you're going to achieve it fast. And now what you're thinking right now probably is, Peter, that sounds great, but you know, how do I know if I'm obsessed or if I have a mere wish? See, a lot of people though, they say, Peter, I'm obsessed, but they're not obsessed. The way to tell exactly if you're obsessed is, let me ask you, how often do you think about achieving this goal? How often do you think about achieving this goal? And are you, when you think about it, are you fired up? When you think about it, do you want to take action now? Like, do you think about, listen, I want to start taking action now. The more you think about, if you think about this 10 times a day, and if you want to take a, a, a action every single time, when you think about it and you're just uh, compelled to take action, that means that you're obsessed. If you think about this, you know, just a few times a day and you say, hey, wouldn't it be great? And you just kind of stand and you're not tempted. You don't feel the fire inside of you for taking massive action. Now, that means that you're not obsessed. Now, the great thing about it, though, is that once you become obsessed, this solves all your procrastination problems that you had in the past. Now, I myself am a great procrastinator by nature, and the reason for this is because there are two types of people. On one side, you have the people that take a lot of action naturally, but they don't like to read books, they don't like to study, they don't like to analyze. But on the other hand, you have the people that are really good analyzing information, they're great, they really have this desire to read a lot of books. Now, I'm on the second category. I like reading books, I, I like to strategize, I like to plan, I'm really good at strategizing, I'm really good at making plans, the second category, but I don't wanna take a lot of action. So for me, unless I'm obsessed, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be procrastinating all day long, but, because I know how to build obsession into myself, I know how to, uh, not even forcing myself to take action, because once you become obsessed, you don't force yourself to take action, you just have this natural fire to take action. You see, and this is what people who read the book don't do, and you see why this is not a misleading title, I really wanna help here. You have to build obsession. 
And now you, you ask, okay, Peter, now, now I'm sold. I, I got it. I have to become obsessed. I want to become obsessed. How do I become obsessed? Help me become obsessed because I'm procrastinating. I don't know how to do this. Or maybe you're saying, Peter, action is not my problem, right? My problem is with making the plans. And we're going to, once we fix the action problem, and we're going to see is fix the plan problem. So don't worry about this. All right. So the way you develop obsession and not just a mere wish, all right, is by the auto suggestion statement. Now the auto suggestion statement, you're going to love this. What I did is I created with our team a specific file that is basically the whole statement. You can read it yourself. You can download this file. Now I'm going to show you on my computer what the auto suggestion statement is and how this statement is going to help. It's 100% free, so you don't have to worry about it. In fact, it is from the book, but it's uh, improved. I'm going to tell you. First and foremost, you see the, the auto suggestion statement in my computer. And let me tell you first what it is. Now, the auto suggestion statement is something that you read every single day and you read it a lot. And let's say, for example, you read it, you read this document from three to 10 times a day, from three to 10 times a day. Okay. The more you read it, the more obsessed you're going to become. That, that's the whole point because the whole point is for you to become obsessed because when you become obsessed, you want to take action and not only you want to take action, but the other thing about obsession is that, you know, you've read Think and Grow Rich, you start attracting what you want to attract. You know, just like the law of attraction, and, and this is science, this is not some mumbo jumbo. You attract because what you think about, you know, your, your mind focuses on it. When you think about, listen, I'm obsessed about making this much money, and this is what I'm going to give in return, which is the next point I'm going to teach you. Now you become obsessed and your brain starts to think about, all right, so how do we do this? How do we do this? How do we do this? How do we make this happen? How do we make this happen? You want your brain on the right frequency all day long and you're becoming obsessed. And the only way to become obsessed is by reading this document from three to 10 times a day. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the whole document with you and I'm going to help you fill the document yourself. And so you'll be able to actually know how to fill the document and you'll have it for yourself. Isn't that exciting? First and foremost, this document, I'm going to tell you how to download it for free, but this document is, is different from the ones in the book because uh, it's the same, but what is different is that it basically combines uh, two of the documents in two different chapters. The one chapter about the auto suggestion and then there's another chapter. So basically what I did in our team, uh, we combined two, chap two documents together from the book and I put it into one so that you have the whole document into one place. And, and this is the thing though, a lot of people read the book, they listen to the book, but they never actually uh, get uh, print the actual document. They never print it. You know, so how are you going to have success from the book if you're not printing the document that even Napoleon Hill tells you you have to print and you have to study and you have to read every single day. All right. So uh, here's the thing. We combine it. The, the two chapters, it's the best. You, even if you get it from the book, I think this is better. And, and I'm, I'm going to show you why. Now, uh, let's go through the whole document and I'm going to tell you how to fill it. But first and foremost, please download it if you want. Uh, so that you'll be able to actually see the document on your computer as I'm going through it. If you want to download it, you can find the link. I'm going to put it in the description in the video right here on YouTube. Uh, and you, you can download it from there. Also on the top right of the video, I think right here maybe, uh, there's a card. You know, you can click on the card and also download the document from there. But the easiest way is just click on the description uh, and it's going to ask you what email do you want me to send the document to and it's automatically going to send to your email and you can get it from your email. But uh, yeah, so go ahead, download the document so you can have it. We can go over it together uh, and it is going to be a lot of fun. Now, I hope you appreciate this and I hope this is valuable for you. Okay, so here's the document. Now let's start reading it together. Now it says by uh, this date, I will have in my possession this amount of money, which will come to me in various amounts from time to time during the interim. All right, so this is pretty much self-explanatory. Now the second paragraph, really important. You have to uh, pay attention. In return for this money, I will give the most efficient service of which I'm capable, rendering the fullest possible quantity and the best possible quality of service in the form of. Now, a few things I have to uh, speak about here. You wanna get some amount of money, okay? For example, you wanna get $25,000 a month, all right? Now, the way money works 
is that you get the money, but to get the money, you have to give something of equal value to the people who give you the money. Do you, want to, do you know what I mean? Kind of like you have a job, think about it, so you go to work every single day, maybe you work in McDonald's, and so you go to McDonald's and you uh, turn on the machines. It's a pretty easy job, right? So you don't really give a lot to the business. McDonald's is pretty simple work. So th this is what you give and you get uh, $10 an hour or whatever it is. So here's the deal. You have to give something in return for this money. And so making money is really simple, you guys and ladies. It's not complicated. Just once you understand it. Now, the question is, okay, what do you give in return? What do you give in return? And it's very simple. You have to give the biggest possible quantity. So you have to give as much as possible. You have to give as much as possible. So quantity, I'm going to write down here. And I hope you see this quantity. All right. And you have to give quality. All right. So the more quantity you give and the more quality you give to people, the more money you're going to make. So you have to constantly think about, okay, so how do I give quantity to people, like a lot of stuff, and how I give to people a lot of valuable stuff. So the moment you know exactly how much money you make, the only thing you have to determine what do you give in return for this money. So you want to make 25K a month, you say, all right, so what do I have to give in return? So I have to give, for example, this amount of quantity of stuff, like a lot of stuff, and this stuff has to be valuable. And to give you a more specific example, for example, we teach people how to build an online business. Maybe you're, you're, you're a consultant, coach, network marketing, affiliate marketing, maybe you have a physical-based business. Business is pretty much the easiest way to make money. And so the way to think about it, okay, you wanna make $25,000 a month, what do you have to give in return for this money? And the mistake that a lot of people make is you know when it comes to the money they think about the actual products that they're going to sell you see what i mean but this is very wrong and this is not going to work in fact napoleon hill kind of says this too uh so he gives an example with the services that you're going to sell in return for this money but i don't think this this works anymore now this might have worked 100 years ago but today people want stuff for free because before they start working with you now, see, things are very different nowadays. Uh, so it works, the principle works. However, we have to modify it a little bit. And the way we modify it is okay. Let's say, for example, you sell anything on the internet. You might be a coach, network marketing, some kind of beauty products. Well, it, it doesn't really matter. Affiliate marketing, your own services. Now, the way to think about it is okay. So how can you give quality? Maybe you can create YouTube videos teaching people about certain topics for example and i give this example because right now you're on youtube and you look you look at my videos specifically and our videos of global expert space so think about it now if you teach people for example what am, what am i doing right now i'm helping you how to achieve your financial goals i'm teaching you and i try to provide really great value with this video i, I want to make sure that this video is high quality okay so i want to make sure this video is high quality as high as possible i can make it now if i create more videos like this that are very valuable and they're like high quantity so i i don't just create one video okay uh, uh that is very valuable but i create a lot of videos on business about how to sell your stuff on the internet i teach you how to make 20k a month i teach you how to make 100k a month now i give you so much stuff for free right i help you so much for free that at the end you say oh my god now peter is helping me so much for free He's given me so much quantity, like so much value, and he's given me such a high quality that now I want to buy their paid courses. You give so much value that then you basically unlock the money. By giving the value, you unlock the money. You give what you give for free and you get the money in return. Like money is very simple, you guys. It's not complicated. Anyone can get rich once you understand this. And that's the whole point. Now you have to, in the document, now let's go back to the document. In return for this money, I will give the most efficient service of which I'm capable, rendering the fullest possible quantity and the best possible quality of service in the form of. And what is the form? In the form of. And you can say in the form of high quality YouTube videos that solve problems. Okay, you can type number one. High quality YouTube videos that solve my potential customers' problems. Now, number two. Uh, high quality Facebook ads that solve customers' problems. Okay, now number three, high quality Facebook group 
that I engage with my community on the internet and I help them solve their problems inside the Facebook groups. You see what I mean? So this is what you put on this document. And I'm so proud of this, in fact, coming up with this because Napoleon Hill doesn't speak about it. This is an upgrade to the, no, no one can come on the comments and say, Peter, this is just a summary of the book. The, this is even, I, I personally feel when you tell me in the comments, I feel this is better because we spoke with so many people to see exactly what their problems are and how they can fix it once and for all. How they can fix it once and for all, achieve financial success once and for all. This is simple stuff making money nowadays with the internet. It's no rocket science. Anyone can do this all right and it doesn't have to be video it can be blog posts and so and, and so forth all right so here's the deal though you see what I mean so you want to make a specific amount of money and you make a list what do I have to give in return to make this money and so here's how money works so I give you a lot of stuff for free then you say okay Peter gave me so much stuff now I'm going to pay him for something else so let's say then you, you buy like an online course we have for $1,000 or whatever the case is, right? All types of different prices. So let's say you pay something, you, you, someone pays you $1,000 for a product or service that you have, okay? They pay you $1,000. Now, when they pay you $1,000, okay, basically what happens is that, you know, for example, 25 people pay you $1,000 and you make $25,000 for the month, all right? But here's the thing though. When people pay you $1,000, then what happens is that you give them for these $1,000 that they paid you, now the product and the service that you're going to give them, you're going to give them way more value than $1,000. For the money that they pay you, this $1,000, you're going to give them $5,000 worth of value, okay? You're going to give them $5,000 worth of value. And when you give them $5,000 worth of value, then they say, okay, so Peter gave me $5,000 worth of value, and now what happens is that, remember, they paid you 1000 but you gave them 5000 so in their mind, oh my God, so I still owe Peter $4,000, so I might as well buy something else from them, you know, or from him or from you, whatever the case is, and you know, then they're, they're buying something else and you give them more value, so that is the secret. That is a secret. So you see what I mean now, before you can take the money in your bank account, you have to first give the equivalent of even more value for that money. That's how you make money. And that is why a lot of people don't make money pretty much is they start some kind of a business and they try to make a sale. But you can't make a sale unless you've given the value that you hope to take back as a specific dollar amount. All right, and then here's the thing. Here's how you start conditioning your mind for obsession. I believe I will have this money in my possession. My faith is so strong that I can now see this money before my eyes. I can touch it with my hands. It is now awaiting transfer to me at the time and in the proportion to deliver the service and intend to render in return for it. I'm awaiting for a plan, da, da, da. Okay, so what is happening here, you basically repeat that the moment you give the value that you're supposed to give, you're going to make the money. All right, and you can you read this, you condition yourself for it. You read this five, ten times a day, and then you get pumped, you get excited, you don't procrastinate anymore. And the reason you're not procrastinating anymore because you know that it's simple making money. As long as you give the value, you don't even have to ask for a lot. All right, you're going to make, I mean, you ask for a lot in life, you have to ask for a lot in life, but you see what I mean? Like the moment you give the value, you're going to unlock the money. But you can't unlock the money unless you give the value first, you people trying to sell stuff for, for, for nothing. Like, that's crazy. It's impossible to do this. I don't know how some people are trying to make money giving nothing. It's possible. You have to be strategic. It's not just about giving anything. Now you have to be very strategic. And then uh, you read this. I know that I have the ability to achieve the object of my definite goal on this statement. Therefore, I demand of myself persistent, continuous action towards the statement and so forth. So you see, by reading this, now you get, you get pumped. Now you get fiery. Now, now you want to start taking action. It's, it's normal. That's the whole point of the old suggestion statement. I realized that the dominating thoughts of my mind will eventually reproduce themselves in outward physical action. And you pretty much read the rest of the statement. So here's the thing about this statement. So you download it. Once again, you can download it by clicking the link right below in the description. And once you download it, you just fill it out the first time around. 
you decide exactly how much money do you want to make and you decide what you're going to give in return, how you're going to give people value. And you understand like from my point of view, the easiest way, and this is what we teach our students, is to give it through social media. Social media is the easiest way to give other people value. You can give the people value on YouTube, you can write, you can have a website, blog, giving people value there. You can have a Facebook group, giving people value there. In fact, I'm going to put a link in the description. We just created a brand new Facebook group where we can give value to you, answer your questions and all this kind of stuff. Because that's what we're all about, giving value. Uh, this is our mission and really thinking about what steps you see succeeding so also you can click uh, you know in the description if you want to join the online uh, business group it's a group about online business but that's the easiest way to give value so you decide exactly how you're going to give value you write it down and uh, that's pretty much it and then the rest of the statement you read it so that's it you download the statement you fill it out only once and uh, then you update it if it's necessary but then you read it all the time you read it three to ten times a day and I guarantee you're going to get obsessed I mean look at me I'm obsessed people ask me why are you so enthused Peter well because I think about my goals maybe all right all the time sometimes I, I forget I'm not perfect sometimes I forget but the moment I see something is wrong the moment I feel that I lack motivation the moment I feel that I start to slack I'm like listen I have to start reading my statements again I have to get excited I have to get pumped this is important, right? My life is on the line. I don't want to regret anything at the, at the rest of my life. I want, to, I want to do the most out of my life. So that is why I read statements like this. And not just about money, about, you know, impacting billions and billions of people in the world and so forth. But at the beginning, most people want to make a lot of money, which I understand. All right, so that's it. That, that's it, the document. All right, so let's continue. Now, do you like this so far? Now, please, I'm asking you, please, for a second. If you can stop this video, just pause it for a second. Let me know in the comments what you think. Because uh, I, I want to keep helping you the most out of anyone else on the internet about achieving your financial goals, building a business. And I want you to tell me if you like this. And I want you to tell me what you like about it. And if you have some suggestion about how to improve it or maybe do you like videos like this in the future, tell me anything that you think. Uh, and, and the reason why I want this is because I want to have your feedback. See, feedback is very important. If you have an online business, you need people's feedback. You have to ask them all the time because that's how you, you're better for them. You see, so many people online are just speaking and doing stuff. They don't ask for, for other people's opinions, but how do you know you're on the right path? I don't know if I'm on the right path. I think this is the best thing since sliced bread. But how do I know? You have to tell me. So please let me know in the comments. I will appreciate this from the bottom of my heart. And listen, I read these comments and maybe you suggest an idea and I do it the other like the day after tomorrow and you can benefit even more. So let me know, please. And that's pretty much after you stop the video, uh, come back uh, after you write the comment and we continue. Awesome. You done? You ready? Awesome. Let's continue. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your comment. So you have no idea how grateful I am for this. All right. So now the next thing, you already read this, our suggestion. You're not, you don't just have a mere wish. You start building a burning obsession, right? You want to take action. Now you're excited. You're pumped. You say, man, like I never knew I can do this. I never knew I, I never had so much confidence in myself. So now your, your dream, like your vision about your dream lifestyle becomes very vivid become ex extremely vivid all right so I'm going to write here dream lifestyle and I hope you see sometimes I have the tendency of standing in front of the board people don't see all right so dream lifestyle so now you're excited about this dream lifestyle and you're close to having it I'm telling you you're close to having it like trust me uh, if you read this out suggestion stay you're gonna have the money you're gonna have the dream lifestyle but you have to keep in mind that you have to improve your plan as well all right, and most people don't have a plan. In fact, you might be thinking, Peter, you speak about online business and making money like this, but I know nothing about business. That's okay, you know, you still start doing this and you know, uh, let me know in the comments, like Peter, I don't have a business, so I know that's your problem. We're gonna start shooting more videos about business, how to start a business, how to choose a product to promote, all this stuff, but I, I can't know what your problem is unless you tell me in the comments. All right, so we're going to fix everything for you, but. No, so the other thing now action we already solved because you know exactly what to, action to take which is giving the value so you can unlock the money uh, all right and the other thing is improving the plan now when it comes to improving the plan there are uh, pretty much I believe seven steps and I have them right here all right seven steps that you have to keep in mind and you have to follow from the book but I'm going to explain them in a little bit of a different way so that you get why they're important and why most of the people do them wrong Alrighty, so now the first thing is specialized knowledge. 
specialized knowledge and I'm going to write it here specialized knowledge now specialized knowledge is something that unfortunately so many people lack so many people lack. because here's the thing though now I want you to think about a doctor I want you to think about a pilot you know the person that flies the airplane think about a uh, doctor think about a pilot think about a lawyer now let me ask you this question can you become a very successful and wealthy lawyer can you become a very successful and wealthy doctor or surgeon or can you become a very successful and wealthy pilot by watching YouTube videos you can't you know and the reason why you can't is because YouTube maybe some pilot is going to show up and he's going to tell you listen this is what I like about being a pilot but he's not going to teach you how to fly the plane no doctor on YouTube or on blog posts are going to teach you exactly how you can do a surgery now this is a specialized knowledge and to make money in life you need to have specialized knowledge a lot of people though this is the problem with a lot of people and it hurts my heart now they read books like this think you grow rich rich that poor that all these books that we cover and they think that they're going to make money out of this now these books they're great and that's why we speak about them like but they're giving you the general knowledge general knowledge is good for motivation general knowledge is good for personal development general knowledge is good for pretty much a lot of things but something that is not good for is the tactics that you need to make money the specific steps the specific little things for example you want to build your own website like how do you do this like no one is going to tell you specialized knowledge and the inside secrets and the specific steps in books like you can do this in books and that is why usually specialized knowledge is found in uh, universities is the old way you know nowadays but no university is going to teach you the newest business strategies because listen I mean things change every single day almost in business online business so you have to be on the, on the cutting edge and specialized knowledge is found in online courses specialized knowledge is found in other places but the bottom line is you have to uh, pay for uh, you have to find specialized knowledge and you can't be cheap with this I mean so many people I don't want to buy an online course or I don't want to pay for a consultation well try ignorance then try ignorance H how do people are getting loans to buy furniture for their living room all right so every single month they're paying off furniture for the living room but they don't want to pay for an online course I personally spend so much money on specialized knowledge because that's important you can make it like this remember this pilots doctors lawyers all these people study for years for specialized knowledge so many people think that they're going to start a business and they're going to speak with people personally uh, or, or they're going to go and spam into Facebook groups online or they're going to pray for a miracle and read books like this now this is not enough you need the specialized knowledge how do you do uh, how do you promote on the internet how do you reach the potential customers that already want to buy from you not friends and family right not random people that reject you again and again and again and again business doesn't have to be painful doesn't you don't need to face rejection once you have specialized knowledge that's the secret now that's the first thing you think about this think about how much money you spend on specialized knowledge I know personally the more you spend the more money you make period people who also always want the free stuff like they're not going to make a lot of money in life because they don't have enough specialized knowledge bottom line I just have to be honest with you you know because I love you all right now the second thing is synthetic and creative imagination now Napoleon Hilsik has explained this pretty well uh, so I don't have to speak too much about it however what I'm going to say though uh, is the following synthetic and creative imagination now what I'm going to say is this hope you hope you see the whole thing now what I'm going to say is this synthetic imagination is you already know what it is it's pretty much taking ideas from different places and putting them together all right so for example you say okay but how do I build an online business now you can see a lot of other people having successful businesses you can see what they do and you can combine these things from different people and improve them for your customers and you pretty much can find success as long as you test enough things however most people don't do this because they don't track the competition now here's the secret that you have to here's the habit that you have to develop this habit has changed my life many years ago when I first started in business especially with online business now every Sunday you're going to write down all, uh, a list of all your competitors all right 
competitors, basically all the people that make money the same way that you make money. Now, you wanna make money, how do you wanna make money? That's up to you, there are a lot of ways to make money as long as you give the bottle first, but you're going to write a list of all the people that make money the same way that you wanna make the money. And every Sunday, you're going to look what have they done this past week. And you're going to, every single week, you're going to look at them and you're going to see what they do, what works, what doesn't work, what works, what doesn't work. Learning from competitors is not about checking them every once in a while. If you don't have a list of your competitors, if you don't have a list of their channels, of their websites, of their everything, if you don't check this list every single week, if you don't write what they do, what they stop doing, what they start doing, if you don't do this, you're going to achieve your financial goals slower. I want, to, I want you to achieve your financial goals. How? Fast. And the way you do this every single week, you look at your top competitors, you look at as many people as possible, 10 to 25 every single week, bam, 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 bam. If you do this every single week, your brain is going to st start putting all these pieces of information together and your brain is going to give you plans that you need to apply specifically because it is going to see the similarities in the patterns between what works among all these people. But unless you check their stuff every single week, now your brain can't give you this information you see and when it comes to creative imagination this is going to help you with the creative imagination now creative imagination is when you're in the shower and when you ask well i've been looking for my keys for the whole day i lost my keys done i have to go to the locksmith make some new keys but let me take a shower before i get out you go to the shower and you instantly get this idea once in the shower well jack how about you check the drawer maybe you drop them there at the bottom uh, of the drawer and then you get out of the shower you look inside the drawer and what do you see the keys right there laying for you looking at you and smiling right this is creative imagination you just get the uh, a genius idea all of the sudden when you're doing something else well when you do this auto suggestion statement and when you do it when you wake up first thing when you wake up you do the auto suggestion statement last thing you do before you go to sleep you do the auto suggestion statement and see these are times of the day when your uh, subconscious mind operates at its highest potential so if you want to impress your subconscious mind if you want to really uh, nail down something that you want and you ask the universe for it you have to do it first thing in the morning last thing at night right before you go to sleep right when you wake up that's some key uh, hopefully you write this stuff down my friend these things have the potential to change your life change mine for sure uh, and write, write these things down all right now next thing we're almost done with this video really excited about it now extra mile you have to go the extra mile for free and uh, we already explained this concept you go the extra mile for free meaning that you have to give a lot of free stuff to people you have to give them a lot of very valuable things okay quality but it has to be a lot of valuable things you also need to give them a lot of quantity to unlock this money it's not about saying I'm going to make 25k a month and in return I'm going to sell this very beautiful beauty product or in return for, for 100k a month I'm going to sell this very uh, healthy uh, supplements you, you cannot give on anything I mean you're going to uh, make 25k from giving the supplements in return good luck right uh, you know you have to be a really 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 good salesman people don't have trust trust is very easy to build you don't have to be a salesman right the only thing you have to do is give the value people trust you and they say hey listen this person gave me so much for free why don't I buy, right? Especially if you put the money back guarantee to it and you say, hey, listen, I even have a money back guarantee. Done deal. They don't have to think twice about it. They know you're the best and you're giving them the best stuff, right? All right, so extra mile for free. So I forgot to put mile and I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. So I'm going to put the extra mile for free. You go the extra mile for free. And then what you do is the next step, all righty, which is extra mile for paid products and services. So, okay, so first you go the extra mile for free, but then let's say someone decides to buy your stuff and people don't just decide to buy your stuff, you still have to put a good offer, and this is also something that we teach, uh, extra mile, uh, extra mile. But then when they buy your products and services, products and services, you then go the extra mile once again. Remember, what people pay you, you give them at least five times the value, hopefully 10 times the value if you can do this. So people buy, you give them five times the value, at least maybe even 10 times the value if you can. And that way you ensure that then they're going to buy from you again. Because if you, if for example, let's say I buy something from you for 
$500 and I pay you $500 and then what you give me in return is $500 I don't have any motivation to buy from you again you see what I mean because I give you $500 and you give me $500 worth of product why would I buy something from you if pretty much you're giving me what I'm paying any place would give me at least what I'm paying so but if you give me more than what I'm paying I say hey listen I owe you so let me buy something and maybe I get lucky and you still give me more you see what I mean so that's what you do then extra mile for products and services then the next thing that you do is you need to make prompt decisions now Napoleon Hill speaks about it so I'm not going to speak about this a lot because people usually understand it however what I'm going to say is that people get it wrong a lot of times they start online business different types of businesses and you know and people think about it for example oh I don't want to create this video uh, because I'm not good enough yet for camera and uh, I'm not uh, or maybe I don't want to run this Facebook advertisement or I'm scared about going to this person but the thing though is that if you don't take the action you don't know how to do it you're not going to be become good if you're not take the action and you're no, never going to learn if it's going to work or not unfortunately we can plan all day long but you never connect the dots by planning here's what, how it works now you might have an idea okay and basically you have three dots all right this is the first step now you might have a stra you you start strategizing so strategy okay now having a strategy connects the dots a little bit okay you see it kind of starts connecting the dots but only when you start taking action only when you start taking action only then you can collect connect the dots only action connects the dots remember this so you have to take action and the best thing about it don't over analyze it because your motivation comes from the fact that as long as you provide the value as long as you provide the value you're going to make the money don't worry about is it good is it bad is my video going to be good is my website going to be pretty just do it and there's a great quote from Andy Warhol the artist you probably have heard of him since he's his art now he, he has a great quote and I might misquote him a little bit but here's the deal what he says is okay make art try to make it nice but then just put it out there and while people are deciding whether it's good art or it's bad art, just make some more art. All right? Now, think about this video, for example. You might say this video is the best ever. Someone might say this video sucks. All right? So I'm going to look at the comments. I'm going to see what the feedback is. I'm just going to make more. So while people are deciding whether this video is good or not, and they write comments, I'm not going to just sit there and worry about oh do they think is good do they not think is good I'm just going to start creating more videos and helping you you know that's what I care about just going out there giving value because I know as long as I provide the best value I can that's fine you know it doesn't have to be perfect I'm going to look at the comments I'm going to make it better that's why you have to give me a comment so I can keep giving you more value and I'm no I just keep putting up more stuff I be, uh, bring up the quantity right that's it we have to understand you have to make decision people plan and plan and plan they have plenty of ideas but and they think the more they think about it the better it gets no sometimes the more you think about it the worse it gets so you just have to make a decision and you're going to learn on the go from the feedback that's it that's it then the, the next thing is sex transmutation I don't have a lot of time but okay so this is really important sex transmutation Here's the deal, and I, I'm going to be very honest here, but first let me say that sexual transmutation is different whether you're a man or a woman, all right? And of course, I don't feel qualified to speak about women uh, because it is different after all. Uh, but what I'm going to say is that there's this author called Mantek Chia that speaks about this, about the female sexual energy and how to uh, transmute it throughout the body and the same with the men's sexual energy. So I'm going to put some links in the description below uh, and you can check out exactly you can read one of these books you can read the reviews it is going to change your life however I don't want to leave you hanging so I'm going to give you a few tips now the thing with sexual transmutation with men for example is that and what Napoleon he was trying to say in the book but I guess he's just too embarrassed to actually say it directly is that uh, you know you can't ejaculate every single day you know what I mean or even that often what what the whole thing is you know you know how after you ejaculate you get really tired and you get depressed and you don't have any energy because you know the actual sperm has 
so many minerals and vitamins in it that if you lose it, your body has to produce it yet over again, right? And so like the more you ejaculate, the more you lose your energy and the more your body has to produce more and it's very taxing on the system you don't have energy you're you're pretty much you're not confident when you meet people you have zero confidence you feel depressed your brain is not there you're not smart it's just really bad so you have to come up with a plan of not ejaculating like uh and you know there's if you read in the books there's like a system you can do it like once a week or once a month you know depending on how old you are but like the less the better and then which so you basically have this sexual energy inside of you now the point is to transmute it throughout your whole body not the energy to stay in the genitals but you know there's certain exercises that when you do you transmute this energy throughout your body and now when you transmute this energy from your genitals to your head for example what is happening is that you know you it helps you know simple stuff now this energy goes from one place it goes to your head where you know it, it really helps you so that is the whole po point like you transmute this energy throughout your body but you know if you ejaculate you're done like you're you you do not have it you have nothing to transmute throughout your body and then for women it's, it's different and then for men of course there are many details uh so you have to think about this stuff and uh, that's why Napoleon Hill says it's really important because it is important. Your magnetism as a person comes from your sexual energy mostly. So uh, the more you have of it, the more magnetic you are to people, not just uh, to the other gender. You're more magnetic to everyone. People want to work with you. Someone who is friendly, someone who is trustworthy, someone who is enthusiastic, you know, stuff like this. Really important stuff about success. And then the last thing. So hopefully you like this. I try to give as much more value as time. Uh, permits me here in this video and then the last thing is the mastermind now the mastermind this principle is, is gotten so out of context today in America and the rest of the world it's just ridiculous right now it's so funny though people would call everything a mastermind nowadays right the one that they charge $25,000 a year or maybe the ones that they organize and they get to hang out with other people and speak about each other's problems however the problem with this now the good thing about this is that it sells very well right if you tell come to my mastermind 25k it sounds good like people say oh okay great now I'll pay 25k or maybe you go to someone's meetup they call it a mastermind and uh, pretty much uh, it sells really well people want to do it people want to join the mastermind however the problem is is that this is not a real mastermind by Napoleon Hill's definition and in fact if you want to be even more accurate it is not a true mastermind by Andrew Carnegie's definition because remember Andrew Carnegie the richest man of the world in the industrial age along with John D Rockefeller and JP Morgan right the richest people back then now Andrew Carnegie is the one that actually came up with all the principles and he was the one that commissioned Napoleon Hill to go and uh, pretty much uh, test these principles for himself and put them out to the world so now Andrew Carnegie is the one that came up with this principle and in fact the way he used the mastermind principle is totally different than anyone else is speaking about today and the way Napoleon Hill speaks about today see to have a real mastermind you need to have people that work on the same purpose that work on the same goal because the, the thing about the mastermind the reason why it's called a mastermind is because when you put two or more people together that have the same purpose that have the same goal a third mind is formed from infinite intelligence and this mind is called the mastermind because it's the extra mind you, you're not just putting two people together but a third mind is formed uh, and pretty much it's not like 2 plus 2 equals 4 it's like 2 plus 2 equals 10 because you have the mastermind that comes from infinite intelligence however this doesn't happen unless both people or five people have the same purpose have the same goal you see but meaning the same like the exact same not oh we both want to make a lot of money that means that uh, that you know we have the same goal no it means that you both want to make money with the same company and the same vision and you both work together as partners for example so that is why you and your wife is a mastermind that's why you and your husband is a mastermind because you have the same goal as a family and oftentimes you work one thing your wife works a different thing or the opposite you know people start getting into fights because everyone is doing their own thing people divorce but if you do the same thing as your spouse you have common goals like children together and stuff like this you know you have the same goal so you're more likely to stay together for the rest of your life 
uh, you have a mastermind. Well, the same thing in business, the same thing about achieving your financial goals. And you ask me, Peter, it's impossible to find partners like this. This makes it very complicated. Now, you don't need to have it in the beginning. There's so many people online making millions of dollars by themselves. They don't have other people working for them. They don't have, uh, you know, employees and stuff like this. But in the future, if you want in the future, start making more money and so forth, you know, building a little bit of a company, then the way you start building a mastermind is by hiring people in your company, right? And these people become obsessed. There's different ways to get them obsessed. In Silicon Valley, they did a great job. You know, you hire the smartest people you can find. You give them stock options. You give them equity inside the company, right? They get a piece of the company and they get really excited about the same vision and they pretty much have masterminds in Silicon Valley companies because everyone is... Uh, along with the same vision because everyone has equity in the company, even the investors, right? And so this is more like a mastermind than you putting five people in the room and saying, okay, what do you work on? I work on this, how about you? Oh, okay, here's an idea. This is just a collaboration. This is not a mastermind because everyone has different goals. All right, so now this is how pretty much you create the plan. Hope you like this. Now, are you excited? Listen, uh, we're not done yet. You have to tell me what you think about this. Uh, if you like this video, first and foremost, please like it. Now, that is the least uh, you can do. I'll be really happy if you like this video, signify that you enjoyed it. Then the second thing, subscribe for this channel if you like this and if you'd like to receive more videos like this. We speak about different books. We're going to be doing more books like this as part of the sequence and we're going to be speaking about business about making money about financial security financial independence subscribe for the channel then the next thing after that is let me know in the comments you have to tell me did you like this video did you not like it what did you like about it do you have any suggestions for improvements do you have any suggestions for future videos so that's it after you leave me a comment don't for, like this document is the whole point right the most important thing you have to start doing from now on fill the document Set up your specific goal, 100K a month, 5K, 25K, whatever it is, right? Uh, but realistic for your situation. Start reading this from three to 10 times a day. Get obsessed to download the document. Once again, it's free. We created it for you 100% free. The only thing you have to do is click on the link in the description. Click on the link in the description. You can download it. You can read it uh, every single day. It's there for you. We made it for you. So hope you enjoy this. Hope you find, find it valuable. Uh, link in the description once again we're going to send it to your email just enter the email automatically sends out in five we're going to receive it immediately or in five minutes something like that that's pretty much it so that's from this video thank you so much for being here once again if you have an online business you want to join our online group and l funny thing though our online group is still called online business mastermind because the name is good right people want to join an online business mastermind even though it's not like the, the real mastermind but it's still great so if you want to join the online business mastermind also you have it in the description inside this video and that's pretty much it thank you so much my friend let me know in the comments what you think we're going to be building this channel together i can't wait to see your comments coming up with more videos you're going to see me on the internet if you join the group and uh, that's it hope you st we stay in touch and i really look forward to help you achieving your financial goals and building a successful business uh and uh this type of stuff so really pumped really excited and hope to see you later thank you so much i'm looking forward to see your comments bye bye Thank you.